Hi everybody, it is Thursday, January 13th, 2011. Welcome to another edition of ProLine. I'm Dave Koken, and you can see on the screen right now, Jim Feist and Scott Spreitzer. Uh, we're going to talk about a good, couple of good college basketball games, a couple of really intriguing matchups tonight, guys. And uh, also, I'll let everybody know that it's my birthday, and I expect you all to get up and sing right now. <laughs> no, please don't do that. <laughs> uh, no candles in the cake. They don't the make last it, they time don't we make... sang to you, you left the room. Yeah, I know. I had to go out and get some coffee. Uh, they, uh, uh, I, I should have put something in it, too. They uh, they uh, could not find the cake with uh, enough room for all the candles, so I'm screwed. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's talk about some bas- basketball. We've got a Big Ten game, Purdue and Minnesota. We've got an ACC matchup between uh, Virginia Tech and North Carolina. Let's start off with the Golden Gophers. Playing host to the Boilermakers, Scott, the uh, uh, Purdue team took a huge hit before the season. But, you know, they, they've done a pretty good job compensating that. Minnesota sent a lot of people in and out of the lineup. Al Nolan was hurt for a while. Now they got one of their big guys hurt. A lot of height on this basketball team, but I'm not sure how athletic they are. Well, when I look at this particular basketball game, well, you know what, I'm going to get to that in just a moment. Let me tell you what we got going on right now. Uh, first, it's Smash Mouth Sports for Thursday night. Last night, we talked about making the call for our red-hot road warrior wipeouts, and we hit another one. I've talked about in college basketball how much I put into these road teams, decent road teams, who are not valued as much as the home team, obviously, because of public perception, and we're getting nice value with those road teams going against overvalued home teams. And after last night's win, we are now, which was, by the way, with Hofstra, and they cruised one by 14 points, We've now won six in a row with these plays, and we're 23-8, and eight, our last 31, which is about 74% winners. Today, we've got going on my college to pro basketball two-team parlay of the year. And you're not going to find this anywhere online. It's only at Smash Mouth Sports. You have to call me at 1-866-896-1627, and it's only $15. You're going to get my college basketball to NBA parlay of the year for 15 bucks. Again, 1-866-896-1627. You won't find it online. It's only at Smash Mouth Sports. Looking at this Big Ten basketball game, we got Purdue taking on Minnesota. And before the season, before the injury to Robbie Hummel, Dave and Jim, I, I had Purdue inked in as my fourth-rated team in college basketball. Really thought this team had a great shot to win the whole thing this year. Of course, Hummel gets hurt. They've done a fantastic job of not slipping up too much, and they're on a really nice win streak right now. And I know the Boilermakers come into this game with this revenge motive, having lost by 27 points last March to Minnesota in the conference tournament. But I think that Minnesota is going to be just as motivated. I mean, they want to beat a Purdue team that's won 10 in a row overall. They want to beat this Purdue team that's won 10 straight road games. And they're playing pretty good basketball, at least a couple of the players, Minnesota. they got the kid with uh, Mbakwe and, and uh, what's the other kid's name, uh, Hoff Arbor, who are both averaging about 13.5 points per game. These two are still getting it done. And, by the way, the latest update on Mbakwe is that he's going to play tonight. He had some legal problems on Monday. Tubby Smith looked into it, and according to him, he said he did really nothing wrong, and he's going to go ahead and play and not be suspended for this contest. Obviously, that's huge for this basketball game and for the Golden Gophers. I love the fact that they will be motivated to knock off Purdue in this 10-game win streak. Love Williams Arena. Great home court advantage. And I don't think this is one of those situations where the home team is overvalued. Final thing I'll say about this game, Purdue has not been, has not been a real good money maker. Uh, when they've won a double digit basketball game against a conference team, they're 15 and 35. After that, against the spread, coming off a double-digit win in conference play. And Tubby Smith teams are 9-1 and against the spread after covering as an underdog but not winning the game straight up. So both situations come into play in this particular basketball game. And I think Minnesota is going to be the better team tonight. I went ahead and grab the points. You know, I'm, I'm looking at this game, Scott. That's all great information. But, the, you know, when I looked at the game, I, just even before the line came out, I made up my own numbers and, and I'm saying, you know, Purdue is just red hot. All four factors that I really key in on all lent itself to betting on Purdue. But then, of course, you know, you got the revenge issues. You got the home court. Uh, conference road favorites have never been real big money makers. But then you look back at the history. The Golden Gophers, 8 and 17 in their, against the spread, in their last 25 games as an underdog. That's, that's one factor. And then when they're a home underdog, they're not very well, they don't play very well either, especially if the line is between .05 and 6.5 and 
as a home underdog. So it's it's it, it really leans to playing on Purdue, although I'm not going to lay the road favor. Now, the number opens up three and a half. It's down to two and a half and two in most places right now. Here's the stat that I do like, though. Uh, the Gophers this year are playing under the total quite a bit. I think they're going to control the game. They're going to slow it down. They're going to try to keep the tempo at a level where they feel like they can stay in the game with Purdue and then beat them in a close game at the end. And when you look at the over and under trends, under is 17 and 5 in Golden Gophers last 22 games as a home underdog of point oh oh five to six and a half. That's an enormous trend, 17 and 5. And this year they're holding right to that. They are an underplay this year as well. So I'm going under the total. Well, I, I like that as well, Jim, because this is a team that has to grind to win. Um, they uh, they got some good people on the team, but I, I, they're just not athletic enough to stay with some of the other Big Ten teams, and that includes Purdue. So I think Minnesota's got to play that style, let the big guys rumble underneath, get some second-chance points, uh, clog up the lane, and force the other team to shoot from outside. Uh, it's also a typical conference battle. You've seen a lot of Big Ten games that have been really close so far, with a lot of ugly shooting taking place. So I'm going to agree with you. I think the under is the play in this game. I couldn't come up with a uh, uh, point spread plan, but uh, what the hell, if you can catch a ticket on the under, it's just as good. Uh, my big game for the weekend is my NFL playoff game of the year. One quick mention, I've got my SEC game of the year tonight. Uh, I think this is a really easy winner. That's online right now. You just go to ProLineTV.com. And you can get the game for 50 bucks. Very strong play, SEC game of the year. But on Sunday, or this weekend, well, yeah, I guess it is Sunday, you know, I'll have my NFL playoff game of the year. And I absolutely love this game. And I almost never use that word when associating myself with an NFL game. I love this game. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a very easy winner. The game's going to be sold online on the day of the game. But you can get it right now. Uh, you don't have to wait. I think the number could move on this game. Get it now for just $25, which is a lot less than you'll pay online on the day of the game. Plus, I'm going to include a, a full week. Uh, excuse me. Check that. Uh, let me check that. The rest of this month, the rest of this month's college and pro basketball action plays, all for $25. This is a really good deal because you're going to win this big game. Plus, you're going to get a lot of profits in basketball over the next few weeks. It's taking you right through the end of the month. Make the call right now. Spend 25 bucks. You're going to be very happy you did. 1-866-841-1665 is the number to call. 1-866-841-1665. Okay, let's uh, head to the ACC. Is that Zeus making a selection there? I hear. Did I hear a dog in the background? Well, I, get, I, I don't know if that dog liked what you said, Dave. I don't know. <laughs> well, Zeus and I get along. Zeus is and going boxer. back to that word. Going back to that word, love that you used. Yeah, that's what, you don't use that word very much. That's why you've been able to stay single so long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know that smart move. That's the truth. Right. Well, I love the Virginia Tech North Carolina game from a fan standpoint. I think this is going to be a fun game tonight. Uh, Jim, what would what's your take on the Hokies and the Tar Heels? Well, you know, North Carolina is one and zero in the ACC, but they played a really ugly game. And I, I was reading a quote by um, the coach, uh, Roy Williams, out. I don't know that I'd ever say this, but so don't, uh, don't kill the messenger here. I feel, this is what he said, I feel like I've been inside a cook, the cookie jar in the cookie store and stole every cookie out of the jar and every cookery out of the store. What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> I guess he didn't like the way his team played. <laughs> not yes. You know, they haven't been very impressive. By the way, but Jim, before we get it, to that game. It was a very ugly win on, the, on their part. No question about it. It was. Before we get into this game uh, and break it down, uh, what do you got going this weekend? Well, you know, for $79, Dave, actually, and, and I'm coming off a big big night last night. It's 5-2 and two in my normal plays and 2-0 and and oh in my really big text plays. So that's 7-2 last night. So you want to hop on board when I start to light it up. My numbers are starting to click in. It's conference play, and this is where we usually make quite a bit of money in January, February. $79 gets you all of my college hoops, executive and inner circle plays through the championship game at the end of March. That's right, 79 bucks. That's a long way. That's a lot of basketball, and it's a lot of money in your pocket for $79. All you have to do is make the call to 1-866-841-1655. And, Dave, 
as far as this game is concerned, the Tar Heels, listen to this number, are 6 and 20 against the spread in their last 26 against the ACC. Not everybody knows that. That's a powerful stat. Uh, this is an overrated basketball team and have been in the ACC for a long time because they got the big name, they got the championships, they got the coaches, they got the players, and they're just overvalued. And betting against them is going to make you more than betting on them. You know what? i I, I got to tell you, their guard play stinks. Uh, Larry Drew the third. Uh, I don't know. The bloodlines are there, but he's just not a real good guard. Uh, their bigs are okay. I think their bigs are pretty good, and they, they're, they're getting better. But their guard play is really shaky. And you know what, Scott? Virginia Tech has, uh, I, I will tell you, I'm not a big Seth Greenberg fan. Uh, he just doesn't win big games. That's been his mantra going back at his other stops as well. He just doesn't win big games. But I think he's as talented here as North Carolina, and I think he's got a better backcourt. And I would not be surprised if Virginia Tech goes in and wins the basketball game. I'm going to look at the Hokies in this one, Scott. I'll make a statement and say that Virginia Tech has top 12 talent this year. And the fact that they're not better than 10 and 4, they lost, in fact, they lost to UNLV when they did, uh, to me shows that Seth Greenberg, as you just said, uh, just never quite gets over the top. And I really think if this team doesn't finish in the top three in a competitive manner in the ACC this year, I don't know, maybe they won't get rid of him, but he should be on the hot seat because they have major talent. They did have some depth issues early in the season, some roster problems, and those are starting to be ironed out. But the bottom line is this team, they're, they're not playing up to their talent, and they normally don't, Seth Greenberg coach team, so I agree with you there. Uh, Cookie Williams, by the way, talking about Roy, was saying the other day that uh, he was really happy with the way his team played and won that game down in Virginia, that 62-56 to game. Excuse me, he wasn't happy with the way they played. He was happy with the way they competed, is what I should say because he said they weren't hitting on all cylinders, but yet they kept grinding out the game and won the contest. And he said last year's uh, edition, Tar Heel edition, wasn't able to play those kind of games and win those kind of games, grinding it out in a physical manner. Uh, I think that, you know, like Jim said, when you're talking about the North Carolina Tar Heels, it's North Carolina written across their jersey, so you always have to pay for that with your point spread, especially when they're playing in Chapel Hill. That's still the case, even though this team has been down now since the start of last season. Going to be an interesting game. I really don't have a call on this. I think what it's going to come down to are Virginia Tech's two red, uh, redshirt freshmen forwards who have to match up against Zeller and Hinson, the three and four for uh, North Carolina. If these two youngsters for Tech can play well and not get blown out by their two counterparts, that I think Virginia Tech can maybe not only hang this number, but win the game outright. But as far as a, an official play for me, I'm just going to sit back and watch it with a lean on the Hokies. Right, well, I do have a little bit of money on, on both the uh, Virginia Tech side and, uh, and the under. I didn't release it as an official play. Didn't quite get up to that level. But, uh, but I do like those two sides in this game. I didn't play it either uh, as a selection, but I, I, would, I would go with the Hokies. Do we have any, uh, any parting shots? Well, I just remind everybody that uh, for $79, you can play a lot of basketball. And I've been doing this for over 40 years, and this is the time to start making some money. It's conference, uh, conference games, conference tournaments down the road. Then you, you get into the NCAAs. It's, it's very exciting. $79, all the executive inner circle plays right through the championship game. And you just have to make a call one 841 1655 Scott, good. I've got my uh, college to NBA parlay of the year going tonight. It's Thursday night. It's fifteen dollars. One eight six six eight nine six sixteen twenty seven. And uh, by the way, Jim, real quickly uh, to let everybody know, those fast facts are working nicely. Uh, found at uh, what ProLineTV.com. College basketball fast facts. I use them every day, and they're they're really warming up, especially with conference play taking place. They usually do at this time they of are. year. Yep. They are. Uh, I, I, my I had a uh, play nine game plays of the year, last guys. night. Seven winners. Uh, go ahead, Dave. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just, no, go ahead, Jim. No, I, I, I said, last, Scott's right. Last night we had nine plays and seven winners, so it, they are starting to heat up. That's not too bad. Um, I had a pretty good night myself last night with the basketball, except for one game, which didn't go so well. That, uh, uh, but, you know, I'm not going to win them all, but I am going to win my NFL playoff game of the year. I think it's, I think it's going to be a cinch, to tell you the truth, and I almost never say that about an NFL game, but I, I really like this game a lot. NFL Playoff Game of the Year, 25 bucks plus free basketball for the rest of January. 
If you call today, 1-866-841-1665. We do this just about every day now. During the week, uh, the abbreviated version, and then an expanded weekend version. So I'll be looking for that as well at ProLineTV.com. For Scott and for Jim, I'm Dave. Adios. Have a good one, guys. Take care, guys.